Next, we're going to revisit orthogonal vectors. Now, we talked a little bit about orthogonal vectors in week one when we talked about the dot product and we linked the dot product of two vectors being equal to zero to the two vectors being orthogonal or perpendicular. But actually, we did some wand waving back then. So let's link this to what we learned last week. The definition is that two vectors x and y are orthogonal or perpendicular if their inner product or dot product is equal to zero. And we saw this in unit 1.4.3. And I'm going to use the word orthogonal, but you are probably more familiar with the word perpendicular. If x and y are linearly independent, which is a word you now know, then we know that the span of those two vectors form a two-dimensional subspace. So you can think of those as a plane going through zero. Now, we also saw that all linear combinations of x and y are in that same subspace. So now we know that x minus y lies in that same 2D subspace because x minus y is a linear combination of vectors x and y. Therefore, we know they form a triangle in the same plane. Here we show the vectors originating at the origin, the vectors x and y. And we also show the vector y minus x, and they form a triangle. So, x and y are orthogonal if this angle right here is a right angle. Obviously, in this picture, they are not. Pythagorean theorem tells us that if they meet at a right angle, then it's the case that this squared must be equal to that squared plus that squared. Okay, So if we have a right triangle like this, and then the length of this side is the size of x, the length of x, and this is the length of y, then the hypotenuse is this side right here, which has length equal to the 2 norm of z, or the length of z. But now notice that z is this vector right here. So what does the Pythagorean theorem then tell us? Well, if x and y meet at a right angle, then it has to be the case that the length of z squared is equal to the length of x squared plus the length of y squared. But the length of z squared is just the length of the vector y minus x squared, which we can define with the dot product of y minus x with itself. And if we then go and we push through the various things that we've learned about vector operations, then what we end up with is this expression right here. If we then cancel that against that and that against that, then we find that 0 is equal to minus 2x transpose y, and therefore this must be equal to 0. So, the two vectors meeting at a right angle, meaning that the two vectors are orthogonal, implies that the dot product is equal to zero, and that's actually an if and only if. Now, we're going to use the notation that the dot product of the two vectors is equal to zero, and sometimes we'll use this perpendicular symbol right here.